Now I'm gonna prepare the roasting of the paper corn. Okay, I put a half of the bag of the paper corn and uh, roast it. The paper corn come with the uh, oil. You don't need to put additional oil to roast it because it's like a kind of oily. And then you can put a little salt to bring out the water. Just a little bit. Because salt can extract water from the paper corn. Make it a bit more crispy. So you see the salt change the colors. It's more brownish. So uh, that means the oil from the paper corn is coming out and a little smoky. So it's about to stop the fire and uh, let it cool down. Don't get burned. Because the salt is soaked with the paper corn oil. That's why the color changed. Otherwise, it's gonna be white. Just let it cool down a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna grind, put the paper coin in the grinder to grind it to the powder and uh, this roasted peppercorn uh, is cooling down now and uh, it's kind of crispy and it smells good. So I just do the half at a time and uh, put in the one. Grinding as thin as possible. The thinner is better. So we can take a look at how thin it is, okay? Is it good enough? It's kind of rough, right? Okay, let's go another minute. I need to shake a little bit. Now it's much better. Okay, I think it will. Okay, now I'm gonna prepare the marsh garlic. And put the, the garlic you need and a little salt with it for the slippery. And, uh, and smash it until it becomes uh, like a muddy. Okay, I think smash it for a couple of minutes and uh, it will be ready, like mud, and pretty muddy. Okay, we're gonna prepare for the cucumber um, in order to do the cucumber salad. This is like a cucumber, Persian cucumber, whatever the cucumber you bought from HMAR for 49 cents per pound or sometimes 99 cents per pound. And this is one of those uh, delicious and watery cucumber we can get from market. We need to remove the both end 
and this little bitter on the end so we just disregard it and then cut it in a few pieces and the press we don't want to cut it everything we press it and make more cucumber available to the sauce so you can absorb more taste and uh, yeah and cut both end and uh, separate them and the press okay um i like to use onion um to add a one part of the ingredients for the cucumber salad onion is kind of like uh, um, give you more taste and the smell and uh, I like to cut the onion with a slice so we'll have a really thin slice of the onion you know mixed with the salad kind of really thin and then separate them later to spread into the salad and mix it with the rest of it. So that it's like a separate them. That give you more taste, but not so spicy. And too, not too strong. Okay. And uh, we add more um, one more item is a preserved egg, and we put a two. Um, so every three cucumbers, cucumbers, you know, come with the one preserved egg. You can purchase in the Chinese market for four ninety nine, of the half dozen. And so we cut the preserved egg in half, cut another half, and cut another half, cut another half. That'll be enough. The egg give you a really rich test. And to add more flavors, you know, it's kind of like unexpected flavors. And then if you're not using a knife, you know, um, on the hand, you can cut it on the board in order to injure yourself. Cut it slow. Okay, um, I'm gonna add a, add a little more uh, plus. It's a pig ear, uh, was marinated, and I bought it from the Range 99. And you could add anything else. You can add a shrimp um, or other things like a pork or beef, uh, seafood or crime, oyster, whatever you think. It just is your imagination. Okay, doesn't have to be the pig ear. This is for the party, the pot lot, so I don't, I choose the pig ear and I cut it slightly. Hold on, okay. Huh? Okay. Okay, um, so um, basically the, the salad ingredient is like this cucumber and uh, onion and bean curd and the preserved egg and the pig ear. Right, and uh, so uh, let's blend a little bit. Right, so you don't want those things to be layered. Blend it evenly, okay. And uh, and this is a jalapeno. Very, very key elements about the taste for the cucumber salad. All right, and uh, for the everything else, we're ready for it, and uh, we're gonna make a sauce. And uh, we don't have to put the sauce right now uh, because you're gonna soak into it and too much, you know, over marinated. And then we want to serve that at a time, and we pour the sauce into it so we can get a little fresh started, and the taste is more fresh. So uh, spicy, 
this uh, this is a pepper flake we uh, made it at home and uh, it's kind of spicy so be careful on that and uh, we do need a, a little sugar um, to bring out the taste and uh, more or less it depends on how you want to handle it vinegar vinegar is something you have to have a lot of vinegars it's the summer they can um, opened up your uh, appetite. And uh, besides the salad, the cucumber salad is a type of the dish to open up the appetite. So make your more eager to have the food. And this is like a sweet uh, soy sauce. Show the yeah. All right, soy sauce. And uh, this is a uh, important it's a sesam oil. And uh, the garlic we smashed and uh, put into it. The last one, which is a really important one, is a peppercorn. We just made it. Again, it's not everybody likes this taste and smell, so be careful. And uh, you can always add on if it's not strong enough. And uh, this is a very, very strong one. So uh, be careful on that and uh, stir it and uh, if you want like to cut the a uh, few the onion the green onion and uh, that's it at the time you are ready to serve and pour it down and uh, serve that's the cucumber Sort of things. All right, you can use other imaginations like a, a Greek style, Italian style cucumber salad. You can use the French style, or Southeast Asia style, or Japanese style even. Okay, uh, or kimchi cucumber salad. Whatever you think, it's uh, still for the summer. All right.